What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. I'm back with a new Nintendo 64 video game review for you. In this week's review, I'll be taking a look at Tom and Jerry in Fist of Fury. Or, fur, or is it Furry? This game was developed by Viz Entertainment and published by Kidco with a North American release date of November 12th, 2000. Fist of Furry is an arena fighting game that is loosely based off the Tom and Jerry cartoons. The objective of this game is to use items, weapons, and power-ups that are scattered all throughout each of the arenas to try to pummel your opponent. For example, in some gameplay here, you can try to pick up the chairs and throw them at your opponent, or, randomly, a rolling pin will come into the arena and you can pick it up and try to beat your opponent over the head with it. There's a total of 10 levels that you can play and 7 characters. Those characters are Tom, Jerry, Spike, Tyke, Duckling, Nibbles, and Butch. Next, I'd like to talk about the controls. For a fighting game that's based around a slapstick cartoon, Viz did an absolutely great job. Each button is quick and responsive without much input delay. My only real nitpick about the controls is that sometimes the jumping in this game can feel kind of floaty. But overall, everything feels quick and responsive. No complaints here. Now, where Tom and Jerry in Fists of Fury really shines is in the sound effects. Each weapon or item that you pick up has its own unique sound, and they're all just fantastic and cartoony. Likewise, this game also has some very charming music that totally befits its cartoon atmosphere that it's based from. The main criticism that I have for Fist of Fury is really just in its replayability. Once you unlock all the characters in the game, there's not a whole heck of a lot else to do in this game, so it can kind of feel like a slog trying to play through a bunch of times. It's, there's just not a heck of, heck of a lot else here. There's single player and versus, and that's kind of it. So finally, to close out this review, is Tom and Jerry Fist of Fury worth picking up today? Well, that depends. If you enjoy these arena-style fighting games, or you absolutely love the Looney Tunes cartoons, or in this case, Tom and Jerry, then absolutely, I would say go ahead and pick this one up. It currently has a price charting price of $27.80. So, for some people in their collections, that might be a little bit steep. And honestly, when I've looked up this one in the wild, I've never seen it anywhere for cheaper than 30 to 35 And it's stayed that way for quite a while. Thanks for watching, and until next time, everybody.